Welcome to the exciting rebirth of Superstar featuring choose your membership rate as low as just $3 a month. At Superstar, you get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes, class passes for Synchronicity University, consultations with me, and so much more. All of this in the Superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. Hello, fabulous superstar Sagittarius. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of December 2022. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological week, without a doubt. Big moves happening in the sky now, and it is going to be on the 8th of the month that we will have this month's full moon. And this full moon takes place in your opposite sign, bringing partnerships of all kinds to the forefront. I think that things may feel like they come to a head with a one-on-one -on -one alliance at this time. And the reason I say that is because that full moon is precisely hand in hand with Mars at this time, magnifying not only the adrenaline and urgency of this time, but also some larger lessons that you're engaged in as part of the Mars retrograde season. Mars, of course, continues to be retrograde in your opposite sign at this time. And all of that energy of that Mars is going to be met by all of the emotion of that very powerful full moon. Some truth is illuminated for you and there may be an element of disappointment here, I have to say, and I'm sorry to say, but it does happen. And I say that because Neptune is speaking in a conversation of tension with this full moon. And yet a part of you knows what you need to do and how you need to behave so that you can feel good about who you are. And I say that because Saturn is speaking in supreme harmony with this full moon at this time. It is such an important moment, uh, such a valuable time, and it's one of these moments where it can feel as if you are truly energized by the people that you know, and that energy can be very positive and grounding and affirming, or that energizing can feel disorienting. It really can go either way, depending on the nature of the relationship, but what I will say is partnerships must evolve in some way at this time if they are going to continue forward. And if you feel as if particular business alliances help strengthen your future and are mutually beneficial, well, they will grow stronger. But where it is that perhaps someone has served their purpose, it really is okay to allow transition to take place as well. Now, I'll speak more about this full moon in just a moment when we get to the love portion of this video because... For love, I think that's where most Sagittarius are going to experience this energy. But let me first let you know about the new moon that is going to take place this month on the 23rd. This new moon takes place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with money you earn, money you spend, and it also has to do with self-love and self-esteem. Now, what is so fascinating is that this part of your life is about to get a whole lot of energy. This new moon is just a part of it. But this new moon provides a beginning of sorts. Because the new moon is new, it does represent a new beginning, but it's also taking place at the very beginning of its respective sign, which means that the emphasis on what is starting, what is beginning, that spark, that seed, becomes that much more amplified at this time. It could be now that you're having incredible opportunities in terms of understanding greater prosperity, whether it is an idea, whether it is a practical opportunity. It is now that you may be looking at how to create greater abundance and there may be a sense of or the beginning of some momentum that starts to take place that leads you towards greater abundance in the months ahead. In fact, whatever begins now may take a full six months to fully flush out and be realized that much more and to come to culmination. But for all that, this part of the sky also having to do with self-love, self-esteem, chances are you are going to gain some very powerful insights at this time that provide you with a brand new perspective and a brand new beginning, helping you to navigate forward from here. 
I said this part of the sky is very lit up. Now, one part of it is that on the 10th of the month, Venus will move into this part of the sky. The other thing is that we are going to end the month with Mercury newly retrograde in this part of the sky as well. And that kind of gets my attention here because if there are new financial opportunities, new opportunities to earn more money, just know that the likelihood of things being different than you anticipate are that much more likely because of that Mercury retrograde. The likelihood of you uh, taking a step forward and then taking a step back is possible as well. If it is that you're having ideas in terms of how to create more abundance for yourself, well, again, we have this sense of you having these wonderful ideas, but then there are certain details that need to be worked out that may not be readily apparent at the spark of the new moon, but start to show up once that Mercury goes retro. If it is that a financial opportunity does show up for you under the light of the new moon, there may be a need to practice some patience in order to fully begin that particular pathway as well. And if it is that you're using this energy in the context of self-love and self-esteem, as much as there's that sense of fresh energy and new beginnings, there may be a sense of needing to in some way examine your past so that you really can put any issues of self-doubt or anything that gets in the way of healthy self-love, good and behind you through understanding them more deeply and finding that healthy sense of change that you've earned going forward from there. Now, where it comes to matters of love, I do think that full moon is going to be so incredibly important. That full moon is the star of the show. It is you getting very honest about where you are in love and why and how you feel about it and getting honest in a way that might be challenging, that might be hard. This is about looking at all that's within you, all of the passion all of the anger and the hurt. I want to be straightforward with you on that. The disappointment as well, allowing yourself to feel it so that you can release it and find a greater sense of grounding and perspective so that you can love that much more going forward from here. This energy can be profound in how it illuminates the truth of a given partnership, but ultimately the truth is what helps you to ground in healthy self-respect in the process. For those of you open to meeting someone new, when we have such strong lunar energy in your opposite sign, uh, there tends to be someone there who helps you to understand where you are in love and why and how you feel about it. And so the likelihood of you uh, connecting with someone is very strong. The likelihood of in some way this connection hearkening to the past is strong as well because Mars is retrograde. It may be that you find yourself repeating certain patterns of attraction to certain types of people and then being surprised as that is illuminated for you as a pattern. As you understand that pattern, you're able to change it that much more towards something that feels more in alignment with the direction you desire love to go for you. For those of you just starting to date somebody, I feel like this full moon is going to be a profound moment of truth. Now, as I've been saying to you, especially in the superstar space and here on YouTube as well, with Mars retrograde in your opposite sign, breakups that happen tend to not stay broken up. And so, yes, misunderstandings are that much more likely. And yet this full moon does have a strong energy of truth to it. Whether or not that means the final end or whether that means uh, that you are illuminating the strength and desire of the potential bond here, whatever your impression, of course, embrace it. It is a powerful moment and yet you will understand it differently in some way once we navigate into the new year and Mars goes direct in the middle of January and beyond. And for those of you in an established bond, again, breakups that happen with Mars retrograde in your opposite sign tend to not stay broken up. This becomes especially true for those in established bonds, but your partner may come into focus in a very notable and powerful way at this time. Whether that focus doesn't necessarily involve the partnership directly, but has to do with what's happening in their life, that is certainly a possibility. 
but it's also possible that it does have to do with the relationship itself. In some way, the two of you may be navigating powerful feelings. There could be some uh, sense of disappointment, but that may actually end up being something rather innocent, but there is that sense of very strong feeling. But there's also an eye towards the long term, an eye towards stability, and the exploration of whether or not you have that here may be one way in which you experience this energy. If you already know that the stability is strong, well, at this full moon, that commitment grows stronger. What I love about this month for you, there's so much here. It is a valuable and meaningful astrological moment. I love how you're that much more motivated and that much more inspired to understand where you are in terms of partnerships, where you are in terms of love, how you feel about that, and where you are in terms of genuine sharing and trust with another person. That person may be here now, or there may be somebody who shows up now to help you to understand these lessons at this time, and yet they are valuable, the kind of learning that will stay with you for a very long time to come. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this each and every week for each and every sign for as low as just $3 a month with Choose Your Membership rate. Higher tiers get you things like all access passes to Synchronicity University events, consultations with me, and so much more. All of this in the superstar space at NadiaShawSuperstars.com. I look forward to meeting you there. Thank you again for watching. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.